and it's like your kind of connection with the black community, but you're Cuban. Like I'm hard. black first. Yeah. I'm black first. So well, I was I always ask, like, what, like what, how you identify Wait, yourself. Are you full Cuban? I'm, I'm full Cuban. I thought yeah. he was black too. I know, but every, I am black. No, am black. Like, everyone thinks that you are like okay, so, a black so, lineage. Right, like, so you know, like, let me explain how it works. Let me explain how it works. Mm. You know, this is another thing that I feel like we as black people get caught up in that Semantics. that separates us as opposed to uniting us. We get caught up in where the ship dropped us off versus where the ship picked us up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all come from the same root. It's just a tree with different branches. The same boat that dropped that picked up your ancestors picked up my ancestors only they dropped yours off here they they made a pit stop in the caribbean and dropped mine off Mm -hmm. but but my ancestors still dealt with slavery Mm -hmm. you know still dealt with being you know having having their family and their lives ripped from them and having to come back from colonialism and slavery Mm -hmm. you know so and and it's not just african americans it's afro cubans it's afro dominicans it's afro puerto ricans like all these people got to get out of their colonialized minds and stop thinking, oh, I'm not this, I'm this. Okay, yeah, you can be Latin, and but, the you're, separa- and but the you're sep- black first. And the separatism that takes us apart when we all have the same struggle. We all say 100%. Because when I walk into a room, they ain't thinking, oh, we're going to give him a pass because he's, he's Latin. Yeah. yeah. Or if a cop pulls me over, he's not like, oh, okay, I'm not going to shoot him or I'm not going to beat his ass because he's Cuban. Mm-hmm. No, I'm black. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm dealing with the same struggle. So we all got to gotta unite and 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 fight for the struggle together because we're all dealing with the exact same struggle. You know what's so crazy? You know, being born and raised in New York City, even for a place that's as diverse as New York, even Queens, I heard, is the most diverse place in the world. So p- people from pretty much every nation lives in Queens, for example, Brooklyn as well. It always baffled me, even growing up, that people don't understand the difference between race, ethnicity, nationality. I never get it. Like, so for example, here they're like we thought you were black but you're cuban and i don't get why people don't understand so here's what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna break down what each thing is to give people a better sense for starters let's go with race so race was really made up because of the transatlantic slave trade which is why when you think of what people races are you only hear black and white because those were the main two groups when you talk about slavery that was involved in the process so you have the oppressor and you have the slaves right so you create that binary uh of parties right black and white structure you when other when you talk about other people they don't even know what race they are like when you say asians what what are they yellow or you hear people say they're brown are Indians brown and Mexicans brown? Like, you you know what I mean? It gets confusing. You Two people from different parts of the world. The reason it's confusing, like I said, is because it was made up because of slavery here. And um, so, yeah, that's one thing to think about. So you have race that was made up and you, nationality is easy. People should never get nationality wrong. That's the easiest one. Nationality is really where you were born or where you have citizenship. So if you're born in America, you're American, right? By nationality and other people, even if they weren't born here, when they get their citizenship, they become American nationals as well. So that's easy. Either you were born here or you got your like birthright or you got your citizenship over time, going through the process be, be, becoming illegal, I mean, becoming legal, etc. Um, so that's national. That should never be confused. Ethnicity, that's when it gets a little tricky, but that's not that bad either. It's really a group of people who have similar origins, right? Who have the same or- origin, I should say. So I think ethnicity and race, a lot of time, especially here in America, people get confused. I'll give an example. Think of, because a lot of places in Latin America, for example, they've received huge Asian populations, specifically from Korea, Japan, China. So let's say a place like China or Jamaica, wherever, when you see someone who appears Oriental or Asian, however you want to describe them, you won't think to yourself that they're Jamaican. They've been born in Japan, right? I mean, excuse me, if they were born in Jamaica, for example, if you say, what's your nationality? They're Jamaican. 
because that's where they were born, right? But when you say, what's your ethnicity, people would never think that they're Jamaican because they look, because of because of how they look, um, they don't look like they're from that region of the world. Who you are before your people arrived here, a lot of times, that's your, your true ethnicity your true ethnicity that person would always be looked at as chinese or whatever even though maybe they've never stepped foot there they were born in jamaica so it's important to keep those things separate context always matter when you're talking about this the question has to be right the answer has to be right if that if she was to ask him what is your race he could say that if somebody say what's your nationality you'll say that um sometimes things cross over and it's that way because like i said your people could come from a different place and then you were born somewhere else so who are you really first it depends on you know what's what's the what's the what's the question so the the question has to be formed right and people have to know how to answer that's pretty much it a lot of times when people in america say that you're black a lot of times it means american black it doesn't mean black from the african diaspora a lot of times people use that interchangeably um african uh, i mean excuse me black being um african-american so i'll put it like this black people even in the diaspora have a way of shortening things by language which that's why you have different creole languages they like to keep it short right there might be a full word and will use sling to cut it down so that's the same thing people say you know instead of saying african-american a lot of times people would just say I'm black, right? To keep it short. So that's just to keep it real simple. And what he's talking about is blacks in the diaspora have a similar origin. It's just that, you know, when people were picked up, they were dropped off in different places. Imagine if you were a part of the same tribe and then you have different people that purchased you, your, your ancestors, and then they dropped they stop they they purchase you there's two ships one going here one going the other place are you different people now because you went to two different places or if you think about it like two kids from the same parents who've been adopted by separate families are they no longer blood because they grew up in different families so that's that's a good way to think about it um in that context right so i don't want to go on and on i can always touch this because it's something um, that's simple to me, but for some people, they don't really get it. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below and it's I can help you out with this. Or if you want to challenge something, let me know and I'll make a follow-up video to make my points clearer. But that's that. Till next time, Dave Durang, No Frontier, over and out. See you.